Okay, today we're doing another Joseph Carr video, and today we're doing another video on my 2003 Saab 95, and today we're going to be replacing the wiper scuttle. And one disclaimer, this film was actually recorded in June 2023. But anyway, let's get over to the car right now. Right guys, to start this wiper scuttle panel replacement, start to open the hood. Yeah. yeah. Look at the state of my scuttle panel. If you look around here, it's just split all across. So I'm gonna replace that. Just remove the wiper arms. Yes, we've got to remove the wiper arms to hit start. Pull that dust cap off the mat. And the nut holding his arm on is a 17 millimeter. Don't lose the nut. So obviously we're going to be reusing our nuts. Carefully give it a little pry, but this off. I'm not expecting, I'm going to actually just sort of lower this a little. That's one wiper arm successfully removed. It should feed on the passenger side. Hopefully you can see all right there. I'm going to pause until I get that off, guys. Right, guys. I found I can't look at this wiper. It's not going to come off. So I've had to come out of a ball joint to pull up. Try and squeeze this under there to pull this off. I think that might be a 22 or 23, I've bought two socket. I'm trying to turn it for a minute. Alright. There we go. That was it. It was all that took. It wasn't that frozen on. But there you go. This saved the day today. I didn't want to use a puller. That's what I ended up having to do. And there's our wife arm removed. That's that removed. And that's that out our way.
And now that's out our way. I'm actually going to clean them splines so we don't have this trouble again. Right, and we're going to remove the Phillips screw there. I've cleaned all my wiper splines, spray them down with WD. That removed. I've already removed the one on the opposite side. Then you pull these off. They're just little trims here. You're going to keep them. We'll be using those. So don't lose them. I'm putting them on top of my trash can. Take the one off on the driver's side. That's that removed. Then we're going to remove a scuttle panel. Then we're just going to carefully remove it. Actually, yeah, start by remove this. Carefully not to break it either. And there's a metal plan. Then, guys, we carefully pry this off. Yeah, we've got to carefully remove it. We still don't want to try not to break it if we can help it. Just gradually pry it off at the front. Don't bend it, I've just snapped behind it, it doesn't matter. And just carefully pry. Just feel around. Then then afterwards, that's that out. Our bad one removed. we go.
Right guys, got a new wiper scuttle, and yes, we've got to be more careful with our new one because obviously don't want to break it. Yeah, just push that on. So there you go guys, that's all that on. You put on these. There, just put those on. There's our new skull panel, looks so much better, so much nicer. Now, just gotta put the clips in. So, there you go, and just in the hole, right here, in case you can't, hopefully, you can see. Yeah.
then yeah, you hop in the screw. Then just repeat on the other side. Then in the hole, in the hole of the trim, you just start to screw clip him. Hey guys, don't go that tight. I don't know. The skull panel installed. Now it's just the put on the wiper arms. So I'm just gonna fold, just go and grab my wiper arms and put them on. Be careful of your witness might might line it up properly. Put it on. And then we just put the 17mm nut in to fix it in place. And then on goes the clip. Plus cap installed. One wiper successfully installed.
That's all it took, guys. Wipers are all functioning. Job complete. Right, guys. We're going to end off this video. And if you found this video helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. As that helps YouTube recommend my content. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any content like this. Share this video with your family and your friends. And have a nice day.